time for that green gut glow but i also today you guys know about the 36 different fruits and vegetables the pre and probiotics and digestive enzymes the um, collagen builder um, as well as the mind health those are the things that i put in here if you've been watching for a while you've seen me do this more than once but this is about consistency um so every day i do this um and every day i work to work with people on different levels of their health. Um, and something that I find really common um, amongst a lot of people, and myself included, things that I have to work on are self-limiting beliefs, right? And so these are beliefs, they're um, either going to be lies from the enemy or true places that we might need to do some work. Um, and they are the reasons in our own head why we can't or shouldn't do something. Um, when we think about this stuff, these self-limiting beliefs that we have, we have a choice. We can either say, okay, here is a thing that I'm not good at or that I typically haven't been good at or I have a deficiency in, and you can choose to stay there and be like, I'm just going to stay deficient in this area, right? Or you can choose to address that area and work on it and make it better. And sometimes that is better together with other people that are actually doing the same thing. Personal growth is a big part um, of this journey as far as what I work on with people as a CNHP and also what we're doing in Arbonne. They kind of go hand in hand. That's kind of why Arbonne came into the picture for me because I'm like, this aligns so well. Um, and so... The other thing is when it is a lie, like let's say the lie is you're not worthy. You're not a person who anyone would ever listen to. You don't have anything to offer. When the enemy is telling you those lies, which are clearly lies because we have value because we've been created by the God of all, by the Elohim of the universe, by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, he spoke all of this into existence, right? And if he created you, you're here for a purpose and a reason and there's so much that is potential lying within you if you would just take the lies that the enemy is telling you and flip the script. What if you started telling yourself, you know what, I am worthy. You know what, I do have something to offer. Like you can start writing down all of the negative and self-limiting beliefs. And then on the other side of a piece of paper, you know, draw your line down the middle, be like, here's the negative slash lies. Um, and then on the other side, here's the positive slash truth and go to scripture and be like, what does God say about me? What are some things that I am good at? Go to people that are, you know, on your team in life. And what do they say about you? Not the naysayers, not the people who don't know you, not the people who are judging you from afar, but the people who are like in your inner circle, even if that's one other person, <laughs> you know, um, and start really lining that up and being like, okay, which life am I going to live? Which of these columns am I going to decide um, to put, put myself within? right? Because we can limit ourselves by believing the lies or focusing on the negative and being either too insecure or too lazy to address the deficiencies that we have because we all have places to improve. This is not, you know, novel just to you. Um, or we can say, you know what, I'm going to turn these deficiencies into opportunities to get better, to grow. And you know what, I want to surround myself with like-minded people who are also doing that. I want to, um, you know, bring other people along with me on this freeing journey of finding out who I really am and what I really can become. You know, I always say Arbonne is simply a vehicle. The people that sit in my office for wellness consults, that consult is simply a vehicle. Um, for God to do what he wants to do in somebody's life and bring them to the next level. Scripture says strength to strength, right? And so it stinks that, you know, the there's a top 1% in most things. But the thing is, is most of those top 1% are the people that are willing to do the hard work, that are willing, you know, to get their hands dirty, that are willing to face the ugly stuff, right? Um, and so I just want to encourage you, like be one of those people. Let's change that. Let's not make it the top 1%. Let's start adding percentages to that, you know, top percentage. And let's have more and more people hop on the bandwagon of, you know, choosing truth instead of lies, choosing positive instead of negative, choosing hard work over laziness, choosing um, to believe in themselves because they believe in God rather than, you know, believing all the negative crap. Like, we can do this, guys. And I want people along with me on this journey because 
I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm going to continue to hit goal after goal after goal. Um, the, the goal is not to just simply lose weight or feel better or all of those things, which are good in their own right. But it is to empower other people to live freer, healthier, better, more abundant lives. So if that is something that tugs at your heartstrings, then I want to hear from you. Please contact me.